As with other third level institutions in the country, the uh, support of the arts is a core value here in Limerick. And with that in mind, the university commissioned Kerry artist Rebecca Carroll to do a series of paintings, paintings which now adorn the walls of the student residences. Our Geraldine Harney went along to meet Rebecca and her family at their home. Meet husband and wife team Rebecca Carroll and David Griffin and their children, Elliot and Ellen. Now we say team because that's exactly what it is. While Rebecca is the artist, David is very much part of her success, acting as her agent. More about that later. First though, Rebecca herself. Grew up in Listowel, County Kerry, uh, which is not far from here. I went, um, when I left school, I went to college in Limerick, College of Art and Design. After which time, I did a bit of travelling in between and then I worked for television for, for a few years as a graphic designer. After that then, um, I worked there for eight years and then I decided with my husband that we'd leave the city and come down here to Little Strand. I had bought this house, um, there was a little cottage that belonged to my grandparents. My retirement home suddenly became uh, a new place where I could, could create an, a, like a new I started to paint. And from such humble beginnings, Rebecca's new life as a full-time artist has taken off in a very big way. Over the years, her style has grown and developed. When I came here first, the paintings I was doing, they were very tactile and there was a lot of other stuff other than oil put into the paint. I mean, I was experimenting with all sorts of medium. I graduated up to oils and I, once I picked up oil paint, I couldn't go back to any... I certainly wouldn't go back to anything like watercolour. It's too... Uh, just not strong enough for me. So I wanted big, uh, heavy texture in the work. Um, uh, the, the nature, the essence of the work is based on nature and spir spirituality. And that's really started to flow for me in the last four years. And I find that if a, a painting I do, the person who eventually buys it will... There's, there's some connection with the work. Well, one person who certainly connects with Rebecca's work is her number one fan, her husband, David. She paints pretty much from her gut, so her work is its very instinctive. It's very... Um, at the moment, she just produces. It's almost like she's she dry-reaches this painting from, from inside. It's, it's, very, um, it's very easy for her um, to be around. It is very special simply because it's, you know, to see somebody working it's not really work. She finds it so easy that it's, uh, it's a pleasure to watch. You know, I come back from work most evenings and there's a new piece. And it's uh, not just one piece, maybe two or three pieces. She's pretty uh, prolific, you know. Um, it's very special. Um, probably a little bit envious being an artist myself, but on the graphic side, I think it's uh, to see somebody go from graphic design to painting full time and make it in a, a true profession. It's pretty impressive. I'm in awe. <laughs> David, though, is not just a fan. He also plays a major role in Rebecca achieving her growing national and international success. It's a role he loves. I have a huge interest in it. I've always been interested in art. We, we met in art college. It's, um, it's probably just a case of um, going with the flow. And then once we felt that the business needed to be brought to another level, um, it has to be, become very professional. She paints, that's her job, that's her role. And I think my role has become the agent, the seller, um, the facilitator, whatever way it wants to be put. It's, um, it's, it's something I do quite easily too. So it's, it's not a job, it's, it's just a, it's a passion for both of us. While the commission for the University of Limerick has been Rebecca's biggest to date, 11 six by four canvases, she has also made her mark with other different works. Most notably, a hugely successful tour of America this summer. In the past summer, I went to America and I exhibited, exhibited in three different states. I uh, started off in Spokane and Washington, um, which is twinned with Limerick City. And then I went down to Las Gatos in California and exhibited there. Um, and that place is twinned with Listol. And then, because I do everything in threes, I decided I'd do New York as well. So we did it all in just under three weeks. 
In addition to the huge sales which Rebecca had, she also got widespread coverage in the US media. Another recent and also big success for Rebecca was her collaboration with poet Mary Kennelly on a book, Sunny Spells, Scattered Showers. In the past nine years since Rebecca and David left Dublin for this idyllic spot, they've embarked on major lifestyle and career changes. Two children later and a growing art reputation, they wouldn't change.